Good afternoon. Welcome back to Ketamine Clinics of Los Angeles live stream, our Friday afternoon event. I'm glad to see you today on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, now I'm Irish also. You probably didn't know that because I'm only Irish once a week, one, one day a year. On the other hand, my daughter's Irish pretty often. And my son-in-law is Irish full time. So I come by it honestly. Uh, this is an interesting day to talk about ketamine and depression because although it's a very joyous day and celebratory day, it's also a day when an awful lot of people are in touch with how far they feel from celebration. And there's a tremendous amount of self-medication going on. I think you know what I mean. Well, in addition to celebrating my Irishness, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the process of coming here. Many people are really excited about this, but they're a little vague about the details of how do you really get hooked up here. Now, I want to be really simple and granular. People come here either through the web or through a physician referral. They see our site, ketamineclinics.com. They fill out the form, which is on the site, or they call the telephone number, which is on the site. They are answered usually by Alyssa, and Alyssa explains the entire process. If they are interested in coming in, if they think this is something they want to explore further, they send us a permission called an authorization. That gives us permission to speak with their healthcare provider about their health. Your healthcare is protected, at least as of now in this country, and so you can decline or you must authorize explicitly by affirmation that it's okay for me to speak with your other providers. So you send that in. You can send that in. You do it directly on screen. There's nothing to fill out, nothing to print. Uh, you, you do fill it out on screen and then you send it in. Within a short time, you'll get a call from me and I'll call you and I'll ask you a few questions. And if you sound suitable to me, I'll, I'll invite you to schedule your appointment pending my contacting your mental health care provider. Uh, I don't look to that provider for a referral or a permission of any sort. I do want to speak with that provider about how it's been taking care of you. That whole process takes a day or two. Then we invite you to come in and schedule. I thought of doing this interview today here in this room, which none of you have seen yet, except a few of you have actually been in the clinic. This is what you're first going to see when you come in here. When you come into the clinic, we give you some paperwork to fill out. But we don't give you papers. We give you an iPad and you enter your information on the iPad and it's automatically synced with everything we already have about you. That takes just a few minutes, then you're brought into a treatment room. The treatment rooms look a lot like what you've seen on previous uh, Facebook Lives because that's where we actually do do the infusions. I've just been handed up an iPad. This is the iPad. We boot it up, we hand it to you. By the way, it's not browsable. You can't look at what the other guy said or what that cute girl across the room filled out. It's just not doable. It's very private, very confidential. The only person who can see it is that office computer in the background. And it puts it in your file and your file only. It's encrypted, it's HIPAA compliant. Uh, you don't have to fill out any more papers. We are essentially a tree-friendly area. So after you fill out the paperwork, you come in, I do a brief history and physical, nothing elaborate, no blood draws, no peeing in a bottle. I do listen to your heart and lungs. I do check your reflexes. Review your health history and your basic systems, your heart, your lungs, your liver, your kidneys, your neurologic situation. And 
I give you a brief depression inventory, eight questions about the degree of your depression. Then we start an intravenous. We offer you the option of reclining. We have nice recliners of uh, a pillow, if you wish, a blanket, if you wish, an eye shield, if you wish, which blocks out the light. Some people like it. Some people love it. Some people find it a little isolating. It's entirely up to you. And noise-canceling headphones. We use really great headphones. I can't mention the brand, but they're the best you can get. They really attenuate noise, and many people use them to attenuate noise. But some people want to listen to music. Actually, I think more people than not listen to music. And we have little uh, iPod shuffles that have great spa-type music. You can, live, you can bring your own if you prefer. Not rhythm, not heavy rhythm, not rap, not heavy metal. But if you prefer your own playlist, no problem. So people listen to music, they recline, and we start your infusion. We start low, we start slow, but we check with you frequently to make sure that you're getting the right dose. And we, unlike virtually any place else that you might go, we adjust your dose during an infusion rather than between infusions. So you may, might start at one dosage level and end up at quite a much higher dosage level if that's what's most suitable for you. Uh, when the infusion is complete, uh, we stop the infusion, but we leave you undisturbed for another few minutes so you can collect your thoughts and come back from whatever journey you've been on. We offer you water or juice. We help you to get reoriented. And we discuss your experience. In about 10 or 15 minutes, you're good to go to the reception area and rest a little more or to leave. You don't leave without having someone other than yourself to drive you home. And that's the process. I hope that wasn't too long-winded. I've given you a lot of detail. I invite questions if I've left something out that's of concern to you. But basically, that's what we do. If you're on the six-day protocol, you come back and do that every other day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you're on the five-day protocol, which we've pioneered for people from out of town, we get people from all over the world, literally from Australia. We had two two weeks ago, just a coincidence that we had two, they're different parts of the country, it's a big country. Uh, we've had people from Taiwan, we've had people from Saudi Arabia, we've had people from Spain, from Great Britain, from the Netherlands, Other countries were Chile, uh, Ecuador. In any event, those people do a five-day protocol. They do one infusion every day for five days. This facilitates them getting back to their homes and their business lives, and they're saving on hotel and time away from home. And that's what we do. Pain infusions are completely different. We're gonna save them for another afternoon. They're a whole separate chapter, complex regional pain syndrome, really responds to ketamine. It's amazing. The longer people wait, the less benefit they get. It's really important if you think you've had or are beginning to have the onset of complex regional pain syndrome, do not wait. Come here or come somewhere else, but get treatment because the difficulty in treatment goes up amazingly with the time since injury. So that's how, that's how we do it here. I uh, welcome any questions that you may have. Thank you very much, Dr. Mandel. And it doesn't look like uh, we have any questions from our audience at this time. And I don't really have any questions. I think you gave a really good and thorough um, explanation of you know what people can expect from when they first contact us until when they're actually here on the uh, day of their first appointment. And uh, I guess, do you have any uh, plans for St. Patrick's Day? I do, but I want to get back to what I was saying because I have a little further detail. I say I start an intravenous and we do the infusion. For some of you, I'm just remembering as I speak, starting an intravenous is a big deal. Well, it's not a big deal here for a number of reasons. First, I'm extraordinarily experienced in doing intravenous initiations. 
I've started probably more than 50,000 IVs. I've gotten pretty good at it. Second, we use a very small needle. Third, if you're the kind of person for whom this is a problem, we will either give you local medicine or topical medicine. Don't let the intravenous be a reason to not attempt to end your suffering. It's just a little addendum. That's great, and I appreciate that because I personally hate needles. And uh, it's nice to know that, that that part of the process doesn't have to be uh, painful or as painful as it has been in the past in other situations. Good. Good. I don't want there to be impediments. If you're suffering from depression or suicidality, this is something that you really must explore. I don't want there to be anything in the way of you doing so. Thank you so much, Dr. Mandel, and I hope that you have a really great St. Patrick's Day. I'm looking forward to more finding more shamrocks. <laughs> All right, see you guys next week, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Friday.